and um, What's up, man? It's your boy Needles. Straight out of Lansing, Michigan. Here you down here in my studio here in Brooklyn. My little two-seater spaceship. You know what I'm saying? This is where I come every day and, and try to knock out some tracks. Yeah. Yeah, so right here, um, this is what I work with. My studio changes a lot. So um basically this is this is the foundation of the studio. This is the brain right here. So it's a simple little 2000 XL. I've had the 4000 and it, it's cool, but this is like, this is like my homeboy. I know this thing left and right. I, this keyboard is just for sample. So I, I, every time I work, every time I come into the studio, I load up the same, I think it's 400, 400 samples, little, little snippets and stuff like that, that I won't have to clear. But, so. allows me to, you know, do all kinds of things. So, I'm trying to find this one. I really wanted to find equipment that sounded authentic. Like to me, the Triton, Triton, like I don't know, I, some of the sounds are real cheesy. Like the Triton and the regular standard um, keyboards, they sound cheesy. So I was like, so what's, what's gonna give me that good sound? Cause I'm not sampling. So I went to, like I said, the old school stuff, the stuff from the 80s, late 70s. Those keyboards sound official. Like that's, that's what I was going for, so. Instead of me getting the latest stuff, I'm I'm getting vintage stuff. Like this pedal, it's a rare pedal, dude. Like you won't find this anywhere except eBay. <laughs> and uh, I mean, like I'm I'm into finding like vintage vintage pieces now. So. Hi friends, check it out. Go to the Phantom. This is this right here. <laughs> Like that sound like a real flute. Kind of, at least to me it does. Um, it has some, some some decent strings. It's actually some really good strings. I, I haven't even gone through them like that. I don't even really use this piece like all the time. And um, that's like you know, clabs, um, random just random shit, you know what I mean? Like, I use it just for just, if I need something like, um, something like a general sound, you know, somebody may step to me like, yo, I want a song with a tuba and this and that, like all these other, sh like the old, the old sense don't really have good sounding tubas or brass sounds. Well, it's synthetic brass, but these have a more realistic sound. This beat right here, I'm about to play, this is all phantom. I really like the, the string sound on this. Um, but like the whole thing with these keyboards is
drastic change. I gotta get some. But basically, it's about just manipulating the sounds. That's that's one thing I like about analog since they just got all the knobs laid out in front of you. Cause I don't wanna, I don't, I'm, I'm really don't wanna have the same sounds everybody else has. So now we're gonna go to my uh, Northy three. Like I said, I just I do sounds that I I make these sounds like this. I'm just fucking around. Like, I, I really don't know how to play. I had, like, lessons for, like, two years. And, it did, I, you know, I still don't know how to play. I can't even play the way I got a little land. But I know how to kind of, like, put it, put, put stuff together. But, yeah, this, um, this sound... This just sounds crazy. When it's, it's just a set sound. Beat your ass up. Um... What else? Actually, I'll play you a beat with this. It's pretty, pretty gangster. beats a week to my manager she's the one that gets them around and um she has a good relationship with Shia. I'm, uh, I'm on I mean um, she has a relationship with a lot of people in the industry so after that the, the way the industry is now they kind of just take the beats and um loop them within pro tools do the song and then contact you after after they decide they like the song or the song made the album and stuff like that so it's kind of it's kind of a backwards Type deal, type deal. A lot of people would think that it's the other way around. Like I'm in the studio with them, but like I said, I'm I'm I'm, I'm at the beginning stages of my career. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Needles, and you're watching Hot Tracks Production Magazine.